What's going on everyone? This is a follow-up to the video I posted the other day. Today Rivian revealed their R2 and they had a surprise reveal of the R3 and Rivian stock took off. This was probably the biggest moment in the American auto industry since probably the Model Y was revealed. Um, I got a lot of things to discuss. Uh, regarding the cars. I'm going to go over the trade I posted the other day and what we have going forward here. So right now the R2 is expected to cost about $45,000 when it goes on sale in 2026. I assume there's probably going to be an EV credit then as well. You're talking this is a car that will be probably around $40,000 uh, all in after the tax credit. The Tesla Model Y is in very deep trouble. That is a crossover. This is an SUV. And I know these people are gonna come out here just like they did the other day and they're gonna say, oh, well, Rivian's not gonna make money and Rivian loses money on every car. That's irrelevant. That does not matter. Okay, first off, Rivian is a very small company and Amazon holds 20% of the float almost, okay? They can bankroll this thing forever. Amazon had 29 billion in free cash flow last quarter, okay? Tesla doesn't even do 29 billion in revenue in a quarter. So spare me on what Rivian is gonna do with these cars. What matters is if Rivian starts producing these cars, not even producing them, as we get closer to 2026 next year, who is going to order a Model Y? Who is gonna order one of those when this better looking car is waiting in the wings? Right? Every other month, Elon's cutting prices. You buy a Tesla, you're getting a train wreck. If you're buying a Rivian, you're getting a far, far better car. Now, as we look out to what this means, it means that Tesla, which is priced for perfection at $550 billion, is really egregiously overvalued. Again, GM, 50 billion, Ford, 50 billion, Tesla, 550 billion, and that's after it's crashed 60% since 2021. Tesla was at once basically priced to dominate the EV market forever. Now, they're not even gonna dominate the midsize SUV segment or whatever segment this is called, Rivian, as they begin to build these cars. And look, they're, they're charging $100 for deposits. I think in a couple of weeks, months, you're gonna hear of a million deposits. I already know like 30 people uh, who, who've tweeted about reserving one of these. I mean, $100 is peanuts. And this car at 45,000 in two years would be cheaper than the average car today. So fantastic day for Rivian. Uh, not much to say other than Tesla is really, really in trouble. And then Rivian surprised. They, they dropped the R3. Now, again, Elon has been blabbering about this $25,000 Tesla for the longest time. And you know what? The Model 3 might get there with all his price cuts. I mean, we're basically almost at a $25,000 car because the guy's fire sailing them now. But by dropping the R3 today, he, he channeled, like, RJ Scaringe was like Steve Jobs out there. He really, he, he was dropping one surprise after the other. Then he dropped the R3X after it. And I don't think the R3 is a big car for the United States. Uh, these crossovers aren't so hot here, but in, in a market like Europe or something, this is an unbelievable car. And Rivian is going right at Tesla. Now, can they do it today? No, they can't. Tesla's got a major head start. Tesla built their entire infrastructure during Zerp, but Rivian has all the capital it wants. Uh, as I said, Amazon is right there. There's plenty of people out there willing to bankroll a company that's going to have over a million pre-orders in a couple months. So that was a great, great day for Rivian. Now, what did Rivian stock do today? Rivian stock today exploded up 13.4% to close the session. And that's what I alluded to in the other video when I said I put on a big risk reversal. And... You know, I discussed it on my Substack this weekend, on March 2nd, right here, go down. Best idea, Rivian. What did I suggest? I went all the way down here. I posted all the options flows out of my database. I showed the chart. It was a little over 11 bucks. And 
What I said was right here. I suggested an unbalanced risk reversal. What, what is that? What is a risk reversal? A risk reversal is when you sell puts lower to finance calls higher. It's a complex options trade where you don't mind going long the stock at lower levels and you use the proceeds from the puts to buy calls at higher levels. And what I suggested unbalanced was because I put on the trade not just for free, but I got paid to put the trade on. What does that mean? By selling the $5 puts in January 2026 for $1.25, I sold four times as many as I bought of the $15 calls. What does that mean? At $1.25 times four, times four uh, contracts, you're basically getting $5 and you're turning around and you're paying $4.15 for those $15 calls. Now, you see the difference? from five to 415, you get a credit of 85 cents. Now that doesn't sound like much, but you're talking on many, many contracts. It is a very big deal. And now those January 2026, $15 calls, you know, those after a day like today, they're up over $5. They were 415 um, on Saturday. So those calls are up 20% today. You could have put the trade on for free. You now are in the driver's seat for the next, you know, 24 months waiting for this trade to work out. And that's the way you execute trades when you're thinking there's big upside, but you're worried about the current valuation. I, I think Rivian is very expensive, even at the moment. So you sell those puts at $5. I don't, I don't mind going long at $5, but because it popped today, those $15 calls exploded too. So. With options, you can structure the trade in any way to fit your narrative. And this was mine. The trade ended up working out perfectly in three days. I wasn't expecting it to work out that quickly, but it did. And I would ride this, honestly, if you took it. If you took this trade, I would ride it because look, you're gonna hear so many pre-orders. I'm telling you, this car is unbelievable. The Model Y is such a terrible looking car. I mean, seriously, uh, one, it's dated. It, it looks like a Model 3, which has been out in the same chassis since 2015. The R2 looks so good. It looks just like the R1S. It's smaller. Uh, it, it's a great car. I, I think Rivian is making a very, very big move. Now, where is Rivian going? I, I, I'm not gonna be one of those guys that's gonna tell you Rivian's going to $200. It's not, again, GM and Ford are $50 billion companies. They sell a ton of cars, okay? Rivian is currently about one quarter of the size of GM and Ford, right? That's insane for how many cars they sell. So if you think about it, if Rivian went up 4X to say $48, right? It would be about the same valuation as GM or Ford. That's obscene. Uh, I don't think Rivian's gonna get there, but I do think Rivian is going to sell a lot of cars and it's going to take a lot of business from Tesla and Tesla's multiple is going to compress dramatically. I don't even think Tesla is gonna stay over $100 uh, as we get closer to this. Uh, you're gonna see next year, again, you're gonna see people on the fence, like do I buy a Model Y? Do I go with the new car from Rivian? I think you're gonna see a lot of those buyers move to the other side and take the Rivian. Um, and that's not even talking about the R3. The R3, they just revealed it today. We're not even talking about production dates. They said the R2, first half of 2026, we'll start seeing deliveries. And I think at that point, you're going to see Tesla really in shambles. And so I think that's part of the weakness you saw this week. I mean, Tesla's down, you know, 10, 12% from when I posted the video three days ago. Uh, Tesla's got major issues, and it's not about just China or the Berlin factory shutting up. Uh, the Berlin factory, they're probably better off with it closed. I mean, they're losing money on all these Model Ys uh, they're pumping out, so you, you might as well just keep the thing closed. Bottom line is Rivian dealt a major blow to Tesla today, and I don't know. If I was a Tesla bull, I mean, the stock's down 60% from 2021. I mean, how much more abuse are you guys going to take before you fold up and move on with life? Making cars is a very nasty business. And, you know, Rivian's going to make life just that much harder for Tesla bulls. And 
I don't know. Me, I could care less. I, I don't hold any Tesla. And, you know, I just dislike the company. But it is what it is. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you next time.